I've done a lot of talking on this channel about why you should read. Today I'm going to talk about how I read. And this mainly is paperback versus hardcover versus digital. Which ones do I prefer and why? Let's talk about it. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching, thank you for being here today. If this is your first time here, like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, all of that good stuff. Today we are talking about how I read. More specifically, these three formats, paperback, hardcover, digital, which ones do I prefer to read? And so I, I will go over all three of these and then uh, we'll, we'll make a decision on which one I prefer the best. And I'm going to start with hardcover. Hardcover, I have the, this hardcover edition right here of The Shadows by Alex North, which is quite a good book. I, I would recommend it. If you haven't read The Whisper Man, I would recommend that as well. He does have a new book out that I would like to get to at some point. Uh, hardback. I, I actually really dislike reading hardcover books. And... I know that's like a big thing on booktube is like hardcovers and their spines and like and the artwork like all the special editions and stuff that come out I don't really like any of those I don't like I I'm not going to say that I don't think the artwork looks good I do think the artwork looks good but I will never like I could never be somebody that like reviews new books because I don't like buying hardcovers I don't like having them here they're heavy and hard to move and just like I rearrange my shelves all the time and so like having hardcover books like they're just they just, they take up way more space in paperbacks like I can stack paperbacks all over the place and you know like I am paperback Zach for a reason because I I just am typically just not a fan of hardcovers I will say I do like that you can kind of lay them out flat on a table and they like if it's a big enough book it will stay flat and you can just like be reading and turning pages. I hate dust jackets. Like I, there's some books I have around, like laying around here. That I don't even have the dust jacket anymore. Like I, I just, I took it off and threw it away because I'm, I hate like the bow is like folding and crinkling and just like, they're always like sliding off. You're trying to like sit there, read the book and the dust jackets halfway sliding off. Like I hate it. I don't, I don't like dust jackets. And I will avoid hardcover pretty much at all costs. Not to mention they're so much more expensive. And so, like, I don't read all of the books I buy anyways. And so I really don't see the need to buy the most prestigious version of a book that I'm not going to read right off. And, you know, I, I'm sure a lot of people look at this as, like, well, they're, like, collectors. They collect books. And so they like to have nice books and nice abound editions. I get that. I'm not saying you shouldn't read any of them, but like that you shouldn't buy hardcovers. I just, I don't consider myself a book collector. I like, I have a bunch of books and I plan to read them all at some point, but I wouldn't say that I collect them. I would say I, I hoard them and will buy just about anything if I think that I will read it one day, but I don't necessarily say like, Oh, look at my vast collection of things. Like, like, these are all things that I, I have, but I don't necessarily feel like I'm, like, I have, like, a collector's eye for what is valuable or things. Like, I will buy books if the price is right and if it's remotely interesting, and that pretty much always comes in softcover. Softcover. Benefits, cons, lightweight. Fold it around. If I can bend it, do all these things. I am a book abuser. Like, I, I like to get like soft cover, like paperback books, because usually they're a lot cheaper, as I mentioned. And so if they're a lot cheaper, like this book right here, eleven ninety nine, Clown in a Cornfield, if I were to spill coffee all over this, like I wouldn't care. I've got four dogs, two cats. Like if a dog gets a hold of this and rips it up, like I, okay, I'm out 12 bucks. Like who cares? I can go buy it. If a dog were to chew on like my, uh, like a collector's edition Brandon Sanderson book, that's like 40 bucks. I'd be a little irritated about that. But 
when it comes to paperback, you usually have two options. You usually have this, which is just your standard size paperback, or I don't have any laying around here. Oh, or you have something like this. And this is what we would call a mass market paperback. I'm sure you know that. I really don't like to get mass market paperbacks. It is the cheapest way to buy books. I get that. But I, I, my ideal book, when I'm sitting down or if I'm getting ready to go to the bookstore, my ideal book, what I'm going to be looking for is I'm going to be looking for this nice soft cover that I, oh, I'm on, I'm on chapter 12. Let me just bend all that over there so I can read, like, I don't, I don't need to treat this with care. I can be rough with it. I can write all over it without feeling like I'm like damaging, like something that is valuable. And so as me, like what I like to do on this channel is like break down things, like go deeper into books than to just like give a 10 minute review of, oh, I liked it. I didn't like it. And so that requires me to take a lot of notes. And most of the notes I take, I take within the book. So that I don't have to worry about losing them or keeping track of them. Everything I want to say about a book is usually like on sticky notes in the book itself. And so I wouldn't want to do that to a hardcover that I paid $40 for. So that's why I, I tend to go with just paperback because I, I love it. I love walking around with like a stack of six of these ready to check out. Like I just love a nice sturdy paperback book. And that is my ideal like, reading experience. Now, let's talk about digital. I have a Kindle. Um, I don't know what kind. I don't care. It reads digitally. I have access to the Kindle store. It's really all I care about. What I think digital has the benefits of is allowing me to try things. And I, I like digital. I don't think I could ever solely just read digitally. I thought about it for a long time. Uh, like when I have to eventually move out of here, like I have a ton of just boxes of books that I have to move. And so the idea of going all digital is so nice, but I just, I know that I could never do it. And so when, when do I read digital? What is digital good for? Well, I re I'll read samples of something, but mainly, mainly the number one reason that Kindles and like digital books come in handy is sales and Kindle Unlimited. With Kindle Unlimited, I get to read tons and tons and tons of self-published work. And if I end up enjoying that self-published work, I like to go buy the book afterwards. Like I'll read it on Kindle Unlimited. Oh, cool. I have it for free. Oh, wow. I really enjoyed that. Okay. Well, now I can support this author. I do believe they get kickbacks from Kindle Unlimited stuff, but I will buy the book at that point. Like, I really enjoyed this. This is worth having. So I will buy it. That is mainly what I use Kindle for. I also use Kindle for like on the go and like reading like on my phone and stuff on if I'm at work and I have some downtime to read, like I'll read on my phone or if I'm just like waiting for my fiance to get to work or waiting to do something like just breeze through a chapter or two digitally. I don't have to carry a book around with me. Uh, the one thing that I'm not mentioning in this is audiobooks. Yes, I do feel audiobooks are reading. I just don't do that much of it. I'm trying to get better about it, but I have a really hard time focusing and retaining things if I listen to them. Not to mention, I can read faster than I can listen. So I just, it's, it's usually like if I'm in a scenario that I can listen to a book, I also am probably in a scenario where I'm not doing that much. So I could end up, I can just read the book in general. But audiobooks are a great on the go thing. Just for me, I usually prefer paperbacks, Kindles. Those, that is how I read. Now, how do you read? Do you prefer hardcovers? Am I in the minority here on like BookTube where like I don't really care about hardcovers? People like make whole videos about look at these hardcover like artwork. And yeah, like the artwork is cool, but I do not care about owning like hardcovers, nor do I want to buy books that I don't have any intention of reading. I don't, like I already have a problem with buying books that I say I'm going to read, even though I probably never will. I don't need to add buying books that I have no intention of reading just because they have this deluxe edition. Like I cannot fall into that rabbit hole. 
though I'm sure eventually I can convince myself to do it when the right book comes along. But for now, I'm a paperback guy. I love standard paperbacks that get issued roughly six months after the hardcover. That is my preferred reading experience. I love, like, just really just, like, making it your own, which is something you can't do with a hardcover. Like, or, like, it's very stiff and rigid. A paperback you can make your own. Like, all the crinkles and the dents and the page turning, the page folding and the writing, like, that shows you that this is my book. Like, that it has me all over it. And that is, like, what books are for. Like, they're meant for you to do that, for you to explore and to, like, I feel like, Hardcovers are for rigid librarians that are just reading the classics over and over. Like, I don't need that. I need something for me that best suits me. And that's what paperbacks do. But let us know what suits you the best in the comments down below. And that is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. If this is your first time here. Make sure you like this video. Share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Until next time, thanks for watching. Keep reading good books.